in our video today we're going to show you guys how you can actually download uh, this pretty sweet package from unofficial Salesforce that actually comes from Narender over here at Force Panda. If you guys don't know Narender, you guys should definitely follow him on LinkedIn, Twitter. It looks like he's on. Um, he's really active in the Salesforce community. So if you haven't heard of him, make sure you follow him because he does a lot of cool hacks like this that uh, he sets up that you can actually just quickly download as a package and throw into your Salesforce environment. Um, so what this actually is going to do for us is if you've used path before in Salesforce, um, you set up path on like your lightning screen. And when you get to like a specific stage or status, um, what happens is that uh, confetti will actually fall from your screen on it, which is pretty cool. They, they added that feature in. And what this package does, it kind of takes it a step further for you. So um, instead of having to just only use it on path, um, Narender actually developed this package, like I mentioned, and it allows you to use it within flows. So it gives you a lot more possibilities of reasons to use the confetti. Um, and it also has like different um, confetti modes that you can kind of go into that I'll, I'll show you here in just a second. Um, so you can follow this link right here to unofficial Salesforce. Uh, it's over here. Um, you can click on installation. And what that's going to do is bring you over to our Salesforce login. You obviously, just log into whatever uh, environment you want to get into to install this package. Um, if you hit documentation and details, <clears throat> uh, this is where it's going to bring you over to actually in the renders blog page, which is Force Panda. So you can read all about it. He's got a lot of documentation in here, which is pretty sweet. Um, and then at the very bottom here, um, he just has like the link that you can go to to just install the package as well. So either one of these links works. Um, since this is like his, maybe you should go to his directly, uh, you know, check out his blog and every other uh, post that he has up here as well. It might be useful. It has a little demo of what this is going to do as well. Okay, cool. So, uh, you know, we log in, we install it into our Salesforce environment. Great. Now you can find that right here by going to install packages. Uh, we have Flow Confetti right there showing us that it's been um, downloaded and installed here. So now what you're going to do is you're going to jump over and build a flow. Obviously, this is going to fit whatever need you have, but you're obviously going to want some type of screen here. And the reason you want a screen is because it's confetti. You want the users to see it. Uh, there would obviously be zero point to put that in an auto launch flow because nobody's seeing anything. So uh, in your screen flow, you'll have it to whatever point in time that you want this confetti to blow up in someone's face. Um, in this specific case, I have like a display text. You could put an image here, whatever you want, right? And then I'm grabbing this flow confetti download or um, package that I downloaded, I should say. And you can just find it by just typing in confetti. And when you grab it, I always put it right above like the image or text that I want this to um, fall down on or on the screen. I always have this at the very top of the screen. I think there's more documentation on his blog of like why that's important. Um, but just put the confetti at the very top of the screen that you want this to appear on. And then when you click into it, um, if you hover over this little help text, it will let you know the different modes that you can actually have this confetti um, uh, be used in, I guess I should say. So they have cannon, fireworks, shower, winter, and then burst mode. We have our setup as burst mode. Uh, so we would hit done here, right? Save. Um, and then I have my debug. And if we hit run again, oh, whoops. Let me right exit out here, hit debug. And this is what it should look like when we run it. So that's burst mode for you. And let's actually just change this to a different one so we can kind of see two different options here. What was another one that we had? Fireworks. So let's do fireworks. Done. Hit save. And then we'll debug again. And this is what fireworks should look like. So it kind of gives you some different options, which is fun to use. Um, but more than anything, this is just kind of to jazz up your business processes a little bit so that they're not super stale um, and just kind of add a little more user experience to it.